Hello guys, welcome back to another DirectX engine tutorial. We're gonna continue where we left, it, left all yesterday and I might uh, lied in the last tutorial saying that we finished DX Manager but we didn't exactly. We or I forgot to do one of those functions. We forgot to finish off the beginning and scene. They're not long, pretty simple. So let's do that right now. So we could do begin scene, so make go to DX Manager cpp and go to begin scene create a flow color set that to four and we can set a color buffers in here the color zero is going to be going to be r color one is going to be g color two is going to equal b and the color three it's gonna be A, so RGBA. If I can type correctly, then what do you want to do? You want to clear the back buffer. You call M device context. Clear render target view. Say M render target view, and do that with the color. And what the hell did just happen there? I have no idea what just happened, but. I have no idea how that happened. Okay. And we also want to clear the depth buffer. So, and device context. Clear depth stencil view. Depth stencil view. D3D11. Clear depth. To. One and zero. Not even zero. So that's it for the BN scene. Now for the end scene. We can check either if it's we if, we, if B sync is enabled or not. So M B sync enabled. And if it is enabled, we can call it on um, the swap chain. M swap chain present of one and zero. Else, we can do the same thing, but both of them, both of those parameters, can be zero. Basically, what for B sync, we basically is just lock to screen refresh rate. Otherwise, present as fast as possible. So there you go, we finished with the DX manager. We finally did, now we did finally finish. So what do you want to do next? In this tutorial, I want to touch on creating a graphics class. And it's gonna be really short. And I mean, as long as as you keep building your engine, it's gonna be a lot more and more. Or what I'm gonna show you is not a lot, but I don't know. We'll see if you guys like this class, keep it. Otherwise, just don't keep it. I like to have an, a graphics class or something like that. Finish. If and dev. Oh. What the hell just happened here? No, I did not want to do that. Why do you keep insisting? If and dev. You call that, um. Graphics. Number define underscore graphics H then found in the end. Okay. So what we can have in this class, we can uh, include number include DX manager and we can include here include system devs. I remember I told you guys I want to, I was going to put it somewhere else and this is where I'm going to leave it at. Okay. Now inside class, inside the public, we can create a, a bool, initialize dx, each node in d, each node in d. We can have another one, void initialize, which is just a regular initialize. 
This is a regular initialize, and this will initialize direct x. You can have another one, void. Not another initialize, but this is void begin scene. Same thing with flow r, flow g, flow b, and flow a. And I spelled one of them. You can have an end scene as well. We can have a getter function for DX manager. Get DX manager. We can have another getter for HWND. Get to get the Windows handle. And we can have one set that HWND. I want to have getters and setters separate, so you can also have D3, D11 device to be able to get device faster or easier or it doesn't look that messy, I guess you could say. Get device. And the same thing goes for the device context. We are, let's see this graphics, nice, we get a function, so we can have another one on top, under, and scene, we can have enable, enable alpha blending. buffer bull enable okay all right so I, I went a little bit ahead and just prayed all the functions that I needed so I could have them right away so in here we can in the const constructor and uh, you can say end device I messed up somewhere. Why doesn't it call it? Oh. <laughs> okay. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm being stupid today. I never called the. <laughs> okay. I feel stupid today. DX manager M DX manager I have a H D and D to store the the Windows handle. So graphics will always have a uh, the Windows handle. Or at least we'll have a way to get the handle if we ever need it in the future. So we go to the header again. In the destructor, um, DX manager, you see, you want to make sure you delete it, and um, DX manager equals null, and initialize here, so M DX manager equals new DX manager, and then and initialize DX function, and you can say if mdx manager initialize and we can passing all the parameters int screen width int screen height b sync enabled p h doing d full screen Zero point. Oh, that's not. We haven't done that yet. We'll do that later. Well, I don't think I even need it anyway. But um, so it's, that's there. Um, and if we didn't initialize correctly, make make sure it returns false. Otherwise, it returns true. 
So that's it for initialize. DX. And initialize, we're not going to have anything. At least not at the moment. In the future, we ever need anything, we can put it in here. So I just have it in there just to have it in case in the future we ever need it. But there's nothing going to be in here. So don't worry about it. I did not forget it. I just there's nothing in there to put in to put in at the moment. So anyway, so I'll go to the begin scene, MDX manager, and say begin scene. You pass in our oh, why I keep doing that RGB A. And guess for what this one's gonna have. So this class is not going to be a huge kind of thing going on. Enable Z buffer. Enable. Return. Return M H W D. Return M device oh, no yeah okay get device return m dx manager get device context and m h w and d equals h w and d so that's it for a graphics class now we can move on and create our engine class Add call engine okay I'm gonna fix this thing on top if and dev engine h number define engine h and if okay, now we have that we can include on graphics do we no I don't think we need if we do we'll come back to it again so in here we're gonna make a little bit of modifications in here since engine is gonna be somewhat of a single 10 make sure you move that to a private Constructor, move it to a private. Now we can add some member functions. Bool initial. Yeah, I spelled it correctly. Initialize graphics. H W D. H W D. Bool regular initialize. We're gonna pass an H instance. And H W D. Can I have a boy to run? Run for your life. We are going to have um Boyd release. Yep, that should be fine. Um another thing Boyd update. Boy to render. Well, actually, those actually, you know what? Move this to private. This run should be the one that should do that. Um, and then we can have a getter static engine pointer get engine. Okay. Now in the private um, member member stuff. We can have uh, graphics pointer graphics and we can have the static engine pointer um, instance. Uh, yeah. 
All right, and like always, I went ahead and created all the functions that I needed, so you guys don't have to see that. Um, call engine pointer engine. You want to initialize my instance equals no. Make sure we do that first. In a constructor, make sure and graphics equals no. And a T structure and say if M graphics, you want to delete the graphics and, and graphics equals no. So once you have that, we are going to um, initialize our graphics and graphics equals new graphics. And you want to return M graphics initialize dx. Oh, H, H domain D. And like always, there's no need to call and graphics initialize, but you never know in the future in case you would like, oh, why does it initialize? At least, it's, what did I? Of course, I misspelled it. Hold on, let me fix that. Let me fix that real quick. Just make sure he calls it. You may never ever call it ever again, but it's good to have it just in case. So, you know, you never know. So, you go to run, you're gonna call the update and the render. In the update, it's not really much in there at the moment. In the future, we will pass it and stuff in there. But for now, we're not gonna have anything. Only in the render, you call M graphics, and you can say begin scene. Now enable, shit. Begin scene, and you can pass all zeros except for the last one, or you can pass any color that you want the background to be. Right like, now, I just want it black, and render stuff goes here and then um, graphics and scene will go here so there you go render stuff goes here and scene get engine of course return uh, oh wait hold on if m um, instance equals null Make sure we initialize it. M instance. M instance equals new engine. And then return M instance. Did we call release anywhere here? No, we did not. So let's I forgot to call that function. So void engine release. And all release is gonna do right now is just call delete M. Oh wait, make sure it's actually instance and just delete it. M instance M, M instance equals no. Okie dokie. So for now, that's it for the engine. So what we can do now. Give me a second, give me a second guys. We can do now. Da 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 We can go to our framework. Because we can initialize our engine finally to initialize our stuff. So go to framework H. I don't think we need that anymore. And if we do then we'll it will come back to it. Number. Delete that windows. And you can include our engine. Go to our framework CPP file. And in here. 
Say engine. Get engine. Release. Don't forget to do that, guys. And inside the destructor framework, make sure to call release on the engine. Inside our initialize function, under where you create the window, you're gonna call if engine get engine initialize m uh, m each instance. And we can get the engine. I know it's a weird way of getting it, but probably should be a faster way of doing that. Get okay, engine. And get graphics. I did not get the graphics. I'm going to call it a function for that, did I? No, I did not. Great. Okay. I forgot to do one last thing, guys, in here. We can get a getter for graphics. Corner get graphics. So we're gonna do create a graphics class forever. That's it for me. Oh, of course. So we can do is return m graphics. So go back to framework. Say get graphics. And you're gonna get H W and D. I know it's a weird way of dating it, but it works. And make sure you return false. Otherwise, return true. Did I forget one more? Did I? There we go. Alrighty. So then, in here, in framework run, we're gonna remove this. You call engine get engine. We gonna call run. That's all inside that's gonna do. And our final step with the engine it's in create DX window under we towards the bottom where you say if HWND equals no under that one. Say if and if not engine get engine initialize graphics of H W and D you can create a message box or we can call H W and D say could not initialize Direct X eleven. Does gunslinger sucks? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um. Error. And be okay. And then we want to release our stuff. Get engine because it closes at it closes afterwards. Release. You can call a post quit message. Zero unregister class of M application name M instance. This right here, we're basically going to be closing it. Might as well just close the entire thing. So M it instance equals null and destroy window. It's doing the so I return false. Closes the window. Returns false. And under that one, you can say engine, get engine, get graphics, and say HWD. HWD. And I think that's about it, guys. I believe that is... Oh, another thing I forgot to mention. No, it's not really done yet. Engine. Get engine. Make sure you call release here, too.
all right so we initialize hopefully runs doesn't crash yes there's guys, what's, up? what's going on here oh why do i keep doing that seriously it's just a little let's return a value Well, I feel like that initialize should not be pull. But I'll just leave it in there just for now. You never know. You never ever need it. Anyways, that should run. I believe, hopefully. Fingers crossed. And I didn't. Okay, what happened? Hold on. Why did it not initialize? Give me a second. I'm gonna pause and figure out what's this, that's happening. Alright, guys, I found the reason why it was breaking. Um. Basically, you want to inside initialize alpha blending. Make sure you zero memory the the blend state description. Without, I'm not sure if you guys created it anyway, but if you didn't, then you just make sure you call this. Otherwise, it's gonna not initialize it correctly. So remember, zero memory blend state description size of DDL blend state blah blah blah. So in that case, once you run, it runs. Yay! Happy face. Um. Let's try full screen. I don't know if it works or not. If it doesn't, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry in my sleep today. Not sure if you guys can even see that, to be honest, but we'll see right now. Why does it still create in a small window? I gotta figure that out why it does it. I'll find out eventually why it does it. But right now, I don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna cry in my sleep today. I might have messed up somewhere. So I'll figure that later another time. But anyways, that's the that in DirectX is initialized now. It works, so hopefully it works for you guys. So make sure you guys follow me correctly when it came to that. I know I messed up right there for a second. For a moment, I mean. So, you know, everybody creates mistakes. So just make sure you're following me correctly. You know, you did not create any mistakes. Make sure every time you finish a function or a section that you copy me copying make sure you don't get any errors unless it has been unless it hasn't been initialized yet so in on that note let me do something else hold on um give me a second uh, let's do it in inside the wnd proc and framework cbp file create a function a case to say wm key down so i notice that every time i press escape it doesn't do it it doesn't close so say if w param equals bk escape make sure post quit message of zero and destroy window hwnd so if you play in it press escape it destroys so okay cool so yeah there we go guys um i hope you guys like this tutorial it was simple all we did was create graphics which is graphics doesn't have too much going on at the moment we create an engine, which engine will have a lot more stuff later on as we keep going. And then we initialize it in frameworks BP. And so far it works, so hopefully it works for you guys. Like I said, make sure you follow me correctly. And after you make sure and you're still getting errors, so let me know. I'll do my best. But I'm trying to get most of these done because I work on Monday. I start working on Monday again. So <laughs> so I'll do my best on replying or anything. So but yeah. So I hope you guys like this and subscribe if you haven't or thumbs up if you want. Let other people know about it. So and like always, feedback is always appreciated. If there's something I could improve on or I could have done something better, let me know. And I'll look into it. So I'll see you guys next time in the next tutorial we can start rendering oh, should we re-render stuff? Yeah. So I'll figure out how I'm gonna separate it. So basically we can start rendering a sprite. We can do a vertex buffer class, a shader class, and a texture class. 
which then that involves also creating a sprite, an animated sprite, where we can have animated, like like the, the one you saw earlier. Um, you know, Mario's animating. Like, yay! So basically, that's the deal. Um, so yeah, i got to figure out how I'm going to separate that, and then we'll continue when you see me next time. So signing out, guys, and I'll talk to you guys later. Signing out.